Hello, my delicious spatula spoon spaniels. Welcome back. My name is Jack, the snack that smiles back. We're doing relationship advice today. Mostly, it's uh, a time. <gasps> Hello, little bird. Oh, hey, mate. I don't have any food today. Sorry. You're gonna... Yeah, oh, oh, bye. Emily, say hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's get started. Am I the a-hole for saying I prefer sushi to children? Okay, so straight to it. My husband and I, both in our early 30s, have been together for over a decade and made the decision to not have kids. I like kids. I have nieces and nephews. We just don't want them for our own reasons. He had a vasectomy, which only a few people know about. Our families are aware we don't want kids as they've asked this before during different major life events. Our wedding, for instance. We recently bought a three bedroom home with a nice yard in a nice area. Excited to show our new home to family and friends. Major upgrade to our previous home. We hosted a housewarming. During the party, one of my sibling-in-laws, Alex, made a few indirect comments about all this space and kids would love it in our house, etc. Eventually, they asked us point blank when we were having kids. I feel that's such a weird thing to say to people. I need to know right now. Are you doing it? Are you going balls deep? How, is, it, is it thorough deeping? You should say like, when are you having kids? In like the Dumbledore voice. Are you having kids? I asked calmly. I made a lighthearted joke about it, which is my go-to for this question. Oh, well, I just like sushi too much to have to give it up for a pregnancy. Plus, not drinking for pregnancy and breastfeeding? No thanks. I tried to make it very lighthearted and laugh it off. Most people just laughed along. Well, that seemed to anger Alex. And I was told, children are a joy, and a good mother puts her kids before everything else. You know what else is a joy? Getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I agreed. Children are a joy. I like spending time with the nieces and nephews, and obviously, I can't be a good mum if I choose sushi over kids, so I just won't be a mum. Paraphrased. <gasps> you just choose to not be a mother? How dare are you? Still trying to brush it off in a gentle way because I'm not trying to start a fight by telling them to stop asking in front of everyone because I know my tone will be seen as rude and abrasive. Yeah, compared to them who is just totally <laughs> calm and respectful. If you're at a family barbecue and you ask someone when they're going to have kids and they make up a reason of why they're not going to and you keep pressing it, you don't know what's going on in their life. What if one of them is infertile? What if one of them, you know, literally can't have kids for any reason and you're just like, well, kids are a joy, and it's your fault that you can't get pregnant. We move on, but Alex is still annoyed and making little comments in their group about how flippant I am about it, and how when it finally happens, then I'll understand. My husband heard this and said jokingly that, well, if she gets pregnant, that'll be a problem for the divorce lawyers. That seemed to tick them off more, but they stopped. <laughs> what a great That's guy. So That's who like you that. want in your life. With holidays coming up, we have not been invited to Alex's usual Halloween bonfire. When husband spoke to his parents, they told him Alex was annoyed that we were so careless and callous about our child-free status. So Alex was annoyed that we were so careless and callous about our child-free status and that to say what we did and that they realized we had taken permanent steps to ensure we never had kids. That we know they had to do IVFs to have kids, etc. And we are a-holes to just not care. God, it's just, I know we keep breaking up the story, but like, how dare you not care about them having to go through IVFs for you making your own choice with your own body? It's like, oh, God, you're not privileged you to be able to have kids. Mm. That's having children is a very sacrificial thing. I was going to say, they're calling them a-holes to not care. They they do care about your family. They love playing with your nephews and the, with their nephews and nieces. I feel bad because they did do an IVF and lots of fertility treatments to have their kids. And even then, they still had a few miscarriages. I can't imagine wanting kids and struggling to have them and then deal with miscarriages. But at the same time, I'm so tired of justifying living my life how I want. Am I the a-hole? That edit, I can't believe people are telling them and they're an a-hole for not wanting kids. Yeah, edited to add. That shouldn't even be part of it. To the few people messaging and commenting about me being the a-hole for not wanting kids, I'm not asking if I'm the a-hole for my dis kid decision. I'm asking if I'm the a-hole for saying the sushi over kids comment. To everyone else, holy guacamole, I'm overwhelmed. Never expected to get so many responses. Uh, I feel terrible my joke was taken in that way and it hurt my in-laws. 
truly never meant for that to happen. Let them know I love their kids and them. I'll be firmly putting down any further attempts to discuss how child-free status of the conversation is about changing our minds. You don't ask women anymore when or if they're having kids because there's just such a traumatic experience. Oh God, it, it so is. You don't, like, yeah. All the horrible things that happen through childbirth, absolute honor and respect to people who choose to have kids bec because of that. Like the messy things that happens to your body, just to have a child. But obviously, again, no disrespect to people out there who definitely want to have kids and find a lot of joy in the whole aspect of it all. Absolutely, I understand. There's total admiration and empowerment in having a child because of the just the amount of risk and challenge it faces. But at the same time, that's their choice to do it. A top command, Nita. A good mother puts her children before anything else is a really weird thing to say to someone who isn't even a freaking parent. Just after seeing this comment alone, <laughs> Emily went on about a yeah, about a 10 minute ish rant. But you can't, no. Oh, let's, I just. Let's hear him out. This annoys me. Children are the spawn of the world. We hate them. Don't even read that. Comment. <laughs> just fuck off. Just voice of disdain. <laughs> hey, we're open to other people's opinions. Until they're wrong, then we don't. I would have said Natar, but with the context of knowing these people had multiple miscarriages and are struggling to have kids, yeah. What you said was really tone deaf, flippant, and cruel. That must have really hurt these people you claim to care about. If I had multiple miscarriages and was struggling to conceive, I would definitely not invite people who guilelessly preen about being childless into my home. And I say that as a child-free person myself. You're the a-hole. Now to bring up the points uh, that Emily did make about this whole thing. For one, uh, they weren't guilelessly preening. That's a bit of a dramatic expression, I feel. They were merely responding to their own prying comments in the first place. Don't ask these kind of questions if you can't handle anything but your own personal preference of an answer. All right, let, let's move on to some actual relationship advice now. My husband put a hidden camera in our bathroom. So me, a 33-year-old female, and my husband, Ronnie, have been married for five years. I love Ronnie dearly, and we've never kept anything a secret from each other. This makes the whole situation even more confusing and concerning. Ronnie and I have been living in our current home for the past two years. Last night, our dog had a huge potty accident all over our bathroom floor. Now, I'm a massive germaphobe, so I was freaking out and rushed into disinfecting mode. I deep cleaned and sterilized everything. The floors, the tub, even the walls. While I was cleaning, I accidentally knocked over a small painting that was hanging on the wall. When I went to pick it up, I noticed a tiny hidden camera was somehow nestled behind it. I got nervous because I knew that Ronnie was the only one who could have put the camera there. We have no cameras anywhere else inside or outside of the house. This means that he set up a camera and purposefully went out of his way to keep it a secret from me. This has been making my head spin, and I have several questions running through my mind. How long has this been going on? Does he have other hidden cameras set up? What is he doing with the footage? Why does he want to secretly record me? Was he recording me before we got married? Is he trying to keep tabs on me? Is he sharing the private footage with anyone else? I feel so violated, scared, and I'm starting to think the worst. However, maybe I'm just being a worry wart and there's a simple explanation for all of this. I want to give Ronnie the benefit of the doubt, but I've never been in a situation like this. I don't know what to think or what my next move should be. I just want to give props to the dog for having a very strategic and tactful bowel movement uh, to help her in this relationship. Well done, dog. I feel the story needs more info. Yeah, that's so weird. Because, like, obviously there's the whole, like, oh, she's getting changed and showering. But then the other thing is women are disgusting and in the bathroom. And there would not be a lot of quality content on that recording outside of her showering maybe once a day. I mean, the rest of the time you'd yeah, be like, I don't need to watch this. <laughs> like, <laughs> Okay, I don't know about anyone else, but when, you're, when someone's standing up, hunched over like this... And they're going like that and like that. That that's not exactly. It's not. I don't know. I, it's that. Is that hot? Is that hot, Emily? Um. Is this hot? Are you showering? Is that, is that you supposed to be that, showering? <laughs> I'm exaggerating for the point, but yes. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've never showered like that. Um. <laughs> I thought you meant hunched over, as in wiping their ass, and I was like, yeah, that's not a good look. If they go to the toilet, no thank you. <laughs> I'm tapping out. <laughs> well, hey, I don't know. The the reverbs of gaseous farts that come out of the toilet bowl. Oh, oh. 
sublime. That's disgusting. I've already disgusted by the fact I said I that. I mean, but. some people pay good money to put a camera on the toilet. Never say you can't <laughs> make some extra cash. <laughs> Just got to find the right people. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Seamus. This uh, comment brings to light some ideas. This happened to a female friend of mine. It turned out to be a mutual friend of her and her husband's. He ended up in jail over it, which was nice. Oh my goodness. Wow, it gets even worse. Happened to a friend of mine too, but it was a camera in the half bath that was designated as the kid's bathroom. She reported it and the cops came and found hundreds and hundreds of hours of recordings of their kids and the neighbor kids using the bathroom. He went to prison. Understandably. Yeah, what a surprise. Let's see if anyone's being like, you know what? It's okay that he's got a camera in there. That's fine. He's allowed to have cameras in his own household. <laughs> He probably has a oh my God. in the bathroom. <laughs> what are you going to steal from there? <laughs> His prized family jewels. <laughs> Sadly, this is a story I think we need more context for. Um, but hey, look, if you have any theories in the comments, feel free to drop them down below. All right, let's go on to the next story. I'm a 22-year-old male. My mum planned a family dinner to announce my girlfriend's 23-year-old female pregnancy and I regret going. My girlfriend is three months pregnant and it's going to be my first child. So everyone has a lot of opinions on it and care too much, specifically my mom. It's because she's your man, isn't she? Mm, maybe they should just go get Alex. I'm sure that person has a lot of information, <laughs> a wealth of knowledge. She cried when she found out my girlfriend was pregnant. I told her two weeks ago and she said, I can't believe you would do this to me. I'm too young to be a grandmother. Wait, wait, she's upset? about you having a child yeah people like face their own mortality when their children have children now she just turned 40 this year and already was insecure about feeling old she stopped talking to me for a few days then asked me if it was too late for my girlfriend to get an abortion just casual conversation you know i told her that we were keeping the baby and she just paused and then hung up the phone this week, my girlfriend and I were invited to my family's for a dinner they planned for us because my mom wanted to be the one to announce to the family that we were expecting. I thought it would just be my immediate family, but she invited over literally everyone like it was a baby shower. My girlfriend was overwhelmed and she cried when she walked in to see so many people. My mom was acting cheerful. She likes being the center of attention whenever there's guests and it's embarrassing. She immediately pulled my girlfriend into the center of the living room and started introducing her to people I haven't seen in years while she had her hand rested on her stomach. She said, wow, look how big you got already. She also pointed out her boobs saying, Wyatt probably can't keep his hands off you, huh? She's so weird. <laughs> what is your mum doing? She's objectifying your girlfriend in the most uncomfortable way. Like, I know that's how you make a baby. <laughs> but to say those things in front of people that you haven't seen for years, like, oh, yeah. Honey, look at your boobs. Everyone, look at her boobs. Look how look at big they are. Boobs. <laughs> when we sat down to eat my girlfriend. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's on the table. <laughs> She's got the apple in her mouth like a pig. <laughs> Grammar and punctuation saves lives. I wonder who's at the head of the table and who's carving her up. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I think the mama would want to be doing the carving so she can accidentally use a coat hanger instead. Oh, 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 Jack. <laughs> oh, no. God, that's horrible. When we sat down to eat, comma, <laughs> my girlfriend ran out of the dining area to throw up and my mom was offended by it thinking she didn't like the food because it's not Spanish food. My girlfriend is Puerto Rican, but my girlfriend told me she couldn't handle the smell of the salad dressing. While we were eating, my mom joked in front of everyone, saying, if it's not a boy, I'll regret them not getting that abortion. And they laughed. My girlfriend didn't know about the abortion comment beforehand. She looked at me and started crying. And that's when my cousins and aunt started consoling her. I told my mum that was too far. And she just said, oh, she's just all teary eyed because of the pregnancy hormones. And she told my girlfriend, it's just a joke, sweetheart. You're OK. We're all here for you. My girlfriend has been an emotional wreck times 10. And she even questioned me if I wanted an abortion. She says she's going to move out and she'll throw in remarks like, why don't I fall down the stairs? I bet you'll be happy. Or if my baby is a girl, I'm leaving you. I don't know what to do here. 
Wow. That's a lot to unpack, especially those last two sentences. Your girlfriend's totally valid to be feeling absolutely upset, but I think it's extremely, I'm going to say, extremely stupid of her to be projecting that onto you. It's your mother who deserves this sort of... Why? How are you the problem here? What, because you didn't, you didn't tell her that your mum made that comment? Like... Yeah, you wouldn't want to tell her that. But I mean, you can't really control your mum's actions. You can speak to her in a very stern way but that mum needs to be gone okay top comment here so regards to the mother being upset that they're having a child that's rich coming from someone who must have had you at 18 or 19 tell your girlfriend you're disgusted at your mum's behavior that you support her and want this baby 100 percent that you love her that you will choose her over your mum, and then of course actually follow through on that yeah the op response to that i wanted to laugh so bad i'm doing everything i can to reassure my girlfriend but i think that comment opened up something that can't be undone she thinks I thought about getting an abortion and discussed it with my mom. There, then we get on to uh, him literally being just as a bit of a problem what in the, the as mother. What the hell? Ah. Oh. Boy, your girlfriend seems to cry a lot. I don't know if I could handle all the emotions. Good luck, brother. Opie responds, Oh yeah, she literally cries when she can't find a comfortable position to sleep in. <laughs> Pregnancy hormones are no freaking joke, dude. Okay. Get rid of him. A pregnant belly can add up to like... 20 kilos of body weight onto someone it crushes your back you can only it, sleep it on is, your back oh mate if, if you do a hardcore ab workout that feeling after doing it and you're trying to get up it, you're experiencing that all the time throughout pregnancy that's it's not fun of course you're eventually gonna like break down after suffering through that pain for so long and so consistently also i would probably cry as well if i couldn't get to sleep every night because of how uncomfortable mm. i was your mum was pretty sexy but your girlfriend is kind of pushing it a bit there constant comments like that will kick your mental health down a notch for sure absolutely reassure her but also tell her you don't appreciate comments like that and find them hurtful but that, i think that's valid yes open communication you're having a child together you should probably yeah. sort this out now before the child comes into the world telling me that like you think that i want you to be just fall down some stairs like yeah that's oh my god all right let's move on to the next story then um i'm an 18 year old male and my stepmom 25 year old female keeps using my girlfriend 17 year old female as a babysitter for my sister for when we're hanging out you have a 25 year old stepmom and you're 18? Sugar daddy. God damn. All right. Wow. Look, I can look. Some people are into the older people. Does that mean they married when she was to have a four year old? <laughs> they don't say the dad's age in this story. I am curious. Yeah, I, think, I wonder why. <laughs> Very oh my curious. God. Because... Okay, let's just see if there's more stories by then. <laughs> <them. laughs> Yo, why your stepmom's so young? Maybe while your dad robbing cribs, he can babysit. <laughs> I'm an 18 year old male. My girlfriend Shannon is 17. We met because my stepmom Lindsay, 25, hired her to babysit for my half sister who's four. It was never a nannying type of situation, just random nights out here and there starting when my sister was like two. Me and my girlfriend had always kind of known each other from school, but never really hung out. We started talking when she'd be over watching my sister. Eventually, we started dating, and it's been great since then. Is that considered a conflict of work interest? Going to work purely so you can, like, hang out and hook up with... As long as no children were harmed in the process. The issue is my stepmom seems to think Shannon is now at her beck and call whenever Shannon is over, which is a lot. She'll just be like, Oh, Shannon, I'm just running out to get my nails done. You don't mind keeping an eye on Remy, do you? Or if Shannon stays over on a weekend, she'll walk into the room really early and wake up Shannon and be like, Oh, I just want to run out while she's still sleeping. I'll be right back. And then be gone until two or three. Now, Shannon needs to stick up for herself and say no. But when Lindsay just comes in and doesn't even ask, she just says, Oh, you wouldn't mind, would you? She says she just freezes up and says yes, because if she says no, it will be like her saying yes, she does mind watching my sister, which she thinks gives off the wrong impression. I've tried talking to my stepmom about it. And she just says, oh, don't be silly. Shannon doesn't mind at all. Even when I tell her straight up, Shannon doesn't want to be her on-call babysitter 24-7. So at this point, Lindsay's just taking advantage of the situation and she's aware and been informed that it's not what Shannon actually wants. So what's ending up happening is that whatever plans me and Shannon have get screwed. We just hang out at home. And then when I have to go to work or practice, which is why my stepmom knows she can't count on me for childcare, Shannon is stuck at my house for hours with my sister. When I found out I was going to have a sibling, I was happy. And I also made it clear I'm not a babysitter. My sister is a really cool kid. We vibe hard. I love hanging out with her. And obviously, some of the times we hang out, it's just me and her, like when we go to the park and movies and stuff. 
but that's not babysitting. That's just hanging with my sister. I tried to talk to my dad and stepmom that except for times when they talked to Shannon about it beforehand, it's not fair to just spring it on her. Lindsay says that Shannon is agreeing to it, so it's fine. My point is the situation is too awkward for Shannon and she feels like she can't say no. Lindsay keeps saying I'm ridiculous. Hanging out that Shannon's house isn't really an option for reasons I'm not even going to go into here. I also believe in the fact that like, it, yeah, this is kind of her business as a babysitter. Yeah, Shannon needs to set boundaries. That's definitely- Coming in to your bedroom to wake her up? That's, that's not okay. Not into your, you know, 18, 19 year old stepson's bedroom. Uh, let's see the top comment though. I understand your girlfriend feels like she can't say no. So maybe you step in in the moment. No, she can't, we have plans. Or she's still sleeping, let her sleep. Is she paying her for all this time too? Maybe your girlfriend needs to start billing for it. But you step in, in the moment, tell her no, she came over to hang with you, and you have plans. Opie does. He says, I do. My stepmom just does this little laugh and goes, oh, Shannon doesn't mind, do you, Shannon? Oh, yeah, good response here. Tell her you mind. You've made these plans for both of you. She's not back for hours and has taken the whole day. Shannon's not going to say no to you when pressured like this, and you know that. That's why you spring it on her. But also, Shannon better be charging for all this extra time. Yes. Oh, please tell me there's info that, that she does. I hope so. Wow, that's a <laughs> there you long go. Nice, response. Nice little links about building boundaries. Yeah, the oh, exact stuff with I was up before we brought up earlier. <laughs> See, we're smart because we think like everyone else. Um, overall, stand up for yourself. It's the real solution here at this point. This one had an update and I had to like scavenge for it because I didn't link the original story, but I found the original story. And uh, look, the update title makes a lot of sense now after reading the title for this original story. <clears throat> My boyfriend is mad that I don't want to get a boob job. Hmm. I'm already angry. Oh, look at that age gap. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 20 year old female, have been with a guy, let's call him John, 34 year old male, for almost four months. Sorry, first what's met... that next sentence? We first met just before my 18th birthday. Interesting, continue. <laughs> but only started going out shortly after my 20th. I was at his place today to watch a hockey game and made an offhanded comment that when I was younger, I wanted a boob job because I didn't like that my breasts were big and uneven. The back pain I would get from them and how I hated that they seemed to make guys over-sexualize teenage me. Without looking away from the TV, John said that I should get a boob job as uneven boobs were a massive turnoff and that my boobs were so big to the point that they were kinda gross. And part of why he hadn't gotten fully intimate with me yet. Hmm, interesting. He has seen me in just bras and straight topless and I have gone down on him, but we haven't had penetrative smecks and he won't go down on me. But those latter two things don't really... You don't I mean, need you don't boobs put for your that. Pee -pee boobs. I mean, you can, you... but <laughs> no one's well, forcing to. you can put a in, in between them. And if anything, bigger boobs make it a lot more easier to do that. I, you know what I reckon it is? I reckon he secretly has titty freaking fetish, but because his penile is so small, it like her big boobs make him look like a little, look like a little, little pinky. Looks like my pinky. <laughs> Doesn't want to so stand naked like... next to her because her boobs yeah. are bigger than his, so much bigger than his penis. Like, you just, babe, you just make me feel really insecure about myself because your boobs are so big. So if you could just sort that out, please. I just, I can't take it anymore. Uh, you make me feel so bad about myself. I just laughed awkwardly and said I wasn't in a place to be able to drop a few thousand dollars on a boob job. John shrugged and said he could and would pay for my boob job. Well, good for John. Maybe he should <laughs> I mean, look, pay for penile enlargement. Look, there's a positive. He's someone who would support a, a woman's choice to, uh, you know, make any changes to herself that she's been wanting to well, do. Only for his benefit. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. So <laughs> that he can then feel more comfortable having sex with her. He probably still wouldn't even go down on oh. her after she gets it. You know, that's just not something I really do. I only do that with long-term partners. So three to four years plus. Why? Why not, man? It's so good. You're really missing out on a wonderful experience. I told John that I honestly didn't know if I wanted a boob job anymore. That was 14 to 16 year old me who was insecure about having, what seemed like, the biggest chest in her grade and that 20 year old me was more confident and kind of liked her boo-boos. 
Minus when I have to find a bra that actually fits me in both cup and band, and the unwanted attention I still get sometimes. LOL. John then got mad. Like, really mad. He slammed his beer can, of course, on the table and called me a selfish feminine pup for not considering his preference, especially since he's offering to pay for the surgery. When I said that I didn't want one right now, or maybe ever, he kicked me out of his house at 10 p.m. on the opposite end of the city of my house, saying he needs some time apart from me. What a quality guy. I ended up catching one of the last buses home and the entire bus ride, he'd been texting me testimony from people who have gotten poop reductions and even them out and telling me to look at how happy they are. <laughs> what is this? What a disgusting man. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> hey, this thing that I uh, I got really emotionally upset about and um, caused a huge fit to cause you to be very unattracted to me right now. I'm going to... He, yeah, he, here's some more content about that. Come on, that'll change your mind. He seems so mad when he kicked me out, but in the texts, he's calling me baby and kitten and just texted me the kiss emoji saying he's sorry for yelling at me and that he just had too much to drink. He had been drinking a lot more than usually and asking if we're still on for tomorrow's lunch date. So honestly, I don't really know where we stand right now. We don't stand. Uh, yeah, you stand well away from him. You stay home. So that's the story. Let's just go straight to the update. This is the original title I read. You guys were right. John and I are done. Good. Yeah. Probably for the best. There were two common questions I saw, so I'll answer those first. One, I, female 20, had met John, 34-year-old male, at a bookstore when I was 17. He saw the book I was holding and asked if I had read it already. We ended up having a small conversation about it, and he gave me his Snapchat so we could talk books again. That's no. S disgusting. Snapchat what what bloody how old is he? 31-year-old gives out his Snapchat to a 17-year-old girl. I didn't give him my age at the time, but a few weeks later when I turned 18, he saw the Snapchat thing they add to your profile picture and asked me so I told him it was my 18th. Two, I'm somewhat close to my parents and brother, but not so close as they know I'm with someone. When I'm with him, I just tell my parents that I'm with a friend or at school or at work. Some of my closer friends know I'm dating him and the age difference, but most think it's hot or okay because nothing happened until I was already 20, which I did as well. Okay, I know Ew. it's girls, ladies, it's it's not hot to be with an older guy as much as you think it is. They are that age, but still mentally in their late teens. Do you really yes. want that? Someone in the body of a 30 to 35 year old still mentally as an 18 year old? I have been hoping that this was just a misunderstanding and that you guys would help us resolve it to see so many people dropping the word abuse and abusive surprised me. But after sleeping on it and reading so many of your comments, I realized I am, as some of you rightfully put it, dumb, young, and immature. What's the Thank bet? Thank you for acknowledging it. I Good. 100% classic men. You're just so mature for your age. The, you know, women my age, they aren't as mature as you. Yes, because you have the mindset of an 18-year-old. Yeah, yeah. Before John, I'd never been with anyone, and maybe that's a part of why I liked him. He was already experienced in life and never seemed to treat me like I wasn't at his level. He called me mature and selfish. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. I guess playing into that, not like other girls. I'll be honest, I really did like how he treated me. The pet names and compliments he gave always made me feel happy. I never really saw us striking up a friendship as wrong because it wasn't sexual or romantic in nature until well after I had become legal. And I was so close to 18 when we first met, but as many of you pointed out, that might have just been him working on grooming and manipulating me. Some of you also said that it was only the first request, that if we continued, he'd keep asking me to change things about me, and frick, I do not want to do that. I don't want to have to change things about me in order to get someone to stay with me, so that was very eye-opening. I ended up meeting him in Tuesday. He love-bombed me, as some of you put it on my original post, Classic. and then asked me, if I had reconsidered the boob job. No, John. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry that I suggested it. I love you so much and I don't want us to ever break up, but um, have you reconsidered? So you know the thing that pra practically shattered this relationship and your trust in it? Um, what are your thoughts on that still? So yeah, you guys were right. I told him we were done. I didn't think we were good together anymore and wished him well. He didn't yell or curse, but said I'd regret leaving him. He did text me a few hours later, but I deleted them without looking. It's been a few days and I'll be honest, a part of me misses him, which I know is dumb, but I've taken your advice and blocked him on everything. So yep, we are over 100% done. 
good. And look, yes, it it is dumb, but it's also understandable. You genuinely did have feelings for him. You, you, like that's, you can be dumb, young, and immature, but that also doesn't dismiss your genuine feelings you were having. I mean, that's the exact thing you need to be aware of. You are going to have genuine feelings for people. Um, it's whether or not it's actually healthy for you to be pursuing that person in a relationship. That's what you should be focusing on. All right, that's going to end today's stories there. Thank you so much for watching, you wonderful enigmatic spatulas of the spatula universe. I don't know why I refer to you guys as spatulas half the time. It's shut up. Be sure to follow me on the socials, Instagram and TikTok as well. I post a lot of stupid stuff on there. It's good fun. And yeah, Emily, say goodbyes. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. And we'll see you for the next time. Yeah.